Now, we need to multiply or multiply by a two digit number using the grid method. First, we have four times 55. So what we can do is first of all, partition our two digit number into tens and ones. With 55, we have five tens, so that's 50, and five ones, so that's five. So to get our answer, we're going to multiply four by 50, then multiply four by five, and then add up our answer. So on our grid, we can write our single digit number on the left, and then our partitioned number, so 50 and five on top. Now four times 50 is 200. That's because four times five is 20, but because we're multiplying by a multiple of 10, we need to put a zero on the end of our answer. Then for this box here, we can work out four times five, so that's 20. And finally, we can add up our answer boxes, and 200 plus 20 is 220, so that's our answer. Now we have 23 times seven. Again, we're going to start by partitioning our two digit number. 23 is 20 and three. So we can multiply seven by 20, then multiply seven by three and add up our answers. So on our grid, again, we can write our single digit number in the question on the left and our partitioned number, so 20 and three on top. Now, seven times 20 is 140, because seven times two is 14, but because we're multiplying a multiple of 10, we need a zero on the end. Then for this box here, we have seven times three, so that's 21. So the last thing to do, again, is to add up our answer boxes, and 140 plus 21 is 161, so that's our answer. So now, let's take a closer look at this first question. We had four times 55. On our grid, we partitioned 55 into 50 and five. So for four times 50, we can show 50 four times, and that gives us 20 tens, so 200. Then for this box here, we can show four times five, so we can show five four times, and that gives us 20. So altogether, we get 220. Or looking at it the other way, we can show 55, so there's five tens and five ones. Because four is the other number in our question, we can show what we have here, we can show 55 four times. Then you can see we get 200 by multiplying four by 50, because 20 tens means that we have 200. And we have 20 here, because four times five is 20. So it's important to understand that if we know our 50 times table and our five times table, we can work out our 55 times table. 50 times plus five times will equal 55 times. So because we wanted to work out four times 55, we could work out four times 50, work out four times five, and then add up our answers because 200 plus 20 is 220. Then the other question we looked at was 23 times seven. So we wrote seven on the left of our grid and then 20 and three on top. To show seven times 20, we can show 20 seven times. That gives us 14 tens, which is the same as 140. Then for this box here, we can show seven times three. So we can show three seven times, and that gives us 21. And putting what we have together gives us 161. Or we can show 23 as two tens and three ones, and because we're multiplying by seven, we can show 23, we can show what we have 
seven times. Then you can see here we get 140 because we have 14 tens. So we could regroup those into 104 tens. And here we have 21 because 7 times 3 is 21. So it's important to understand that if we know our 20 times table or can work it out and we know our 3 times table then we can work out our 23 times table. If we add our 20 times table and our 3 times table we get our 23 times table. So because we needed to work out 7 times 23 we could work out 7 times 20 then work out 7 times 3 and then add up our answers.